Hello everyone, welcome back to Geek Disorders web series or HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery. This is Lavic. I'll be walking you through this series. Uh, today we're going to be going over uh, uh, CSS colors, uh, where we cover some uh, three ways to specify colors in CSS. Um, and that's going to be using a keyword, uh, basically a color name like silver, white, red, blue, uh, and such. We'll also be going over um, a way to specify a RGB color which stands for red, green, blue and uh, we specify a value um, in order to tell the uh, browser which color we want to display and then we'll be going over the same thing again RGB uh, but we'll be using a hexadecimal system instead of a regular um, percent or number value Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. As you see in front of me, I have a basic uh, HTML5 document set up. Uh, I have added uh, three paragraphs, and I've gave them each a specific class. Uh, this is a uh, keyword RGB and hex. All right, and so we're going to be, um, as you probably guessed, changing the color of the text uh, using uh, keywords RGB and hex uh, based off the paragraphs. Alright, and I've, I used embedded CSS last time, so I'm going to go ahead and use a external CSS uh, document this time. And I already have the, the colors.html saved in a folder on my desktop, so I'm just going to create a new file here. Alright, I'm going to go, I'm going to save this as a CSS document. I'm going to save as, and I'm, I'm in that same folder uh, with my colors uh, HTML file, so I'm just going to call this. Uh, style.css alright and there we go we got our CSS file saved now we want to make sure we link it uh, to our HTML file so uh, our browser knows where, knows where to find it so I'm gonna go down I'm gonna put in a link element alright and the first uh, the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going uh, to tell the uh, browser that what we're linking to is a style sheet so I'll put the real attribute and I'm just going to put a uh, style sheet here. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to use the href to tell the browser where to find that style sheet. And since this style sheet is in the same folder as my um, HTML file, all I have to do is put the name, and the name of that style sheet is style.css. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save that. OK, so uh, let's start out with the, the keyword or the colored name. Uh, and I'm going to show you all a website here. Uh, this is on the W3 uh, uh, website, and this is their CSS color module. Um, and down here, if you scroll down a little bit, and I'll provide a link to this uh, in the description. I'm gonna go there underneath color units. There's a basic color keywords. All right, I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna give me the basic uh, keywords here, and there are 16 of them. And all browsers support these basic key uh, colors. Uh, and so it's safe to use the uh, the keyword, the color name, uh, the RGB decimal value, and the RGB hex value, which you can find all three of these right here, and also a sample of what color you're getting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try out some of these, and we're going to start with just the uh, keyword. So I'm going to try uh, I'm going to try lime. So on my class here for keyword, I'm going to turn this paragraph's text. Uh, a lime color. So I'm going to switch over to my style here. And remember, uh, we've already covered classes and IDs. Just a refresher. Uh, I've got a tribute class here, and I've got the class name is keyword. All right. So over in my style sheet, um, we'll we'll be covering this more later. But I need to tell it I'm going to be using a class. In order to do that, uh, because I could tell it body or paragraph just by putting p or body, but that would target everything. Uh, if I use paragraph, it would change all three of these. I just want to change this one, so I'm going to use a class. And so, in order to tell it I'm using a class, I put a period, and you put a pound sign for ID. So I put a period, and then you put your class uh, name, which is keyword. Okay. Then we'll open bracket uh, curly braces close. All right. Okay. And now. I'm going to tell it uh, color, and color is the key, uh, the uh, the CSS property for changing the text color. 
Okay, you, you have background uh, dash colors for changing your background color and so on. And we'll cover all this stuff later. This is just basically, we're just looking at colors right here in the different way to uh, tell the browser which one you want to use. So uh, I said I'm going to use Lime, so I just type Lime and my semicolon. Now I save my uh, CSS. And actually, before I do that, just one more thing I want to do. And up here, I just, uh, just want to put body. Okay, and I'm going to open curly braces close, and I'm going to change my font size. And all I'll do to do that is font dash size colon, and I'm going to change it to uh, 5 em. Or actually, let's go a little smaller 4 em. There we go. Save that. And once I got my CSS file saved, I'll switch back over to my HTML file. I'm going to save, make sure it's saved, and then I'm going to run my HTML file. Okay. And there we go. As you can see, I've got my keyword, my RGB, and my RGB with hexadecimal. And if you noticed, keyword is a lime color. So I can change that color. I can just uh, go back, go back to my CSS, and down here I can put. Um, so what's another one we can use? Uh, we can use olive. Olive here. Uh, save my CSS and launch in Firefox and there we go my keyword is now the olive color alright now let's look at the how to how to specify a color using RGB and RGB is uh, there's actually two different ways you can do RGB and I'm gonna show you both right here um, over in my style sheet I'm gonna go ahead and the oops, sorry the class for RGB is just RGB so I'm going to put RGB and open curly braces close. All right. And to do to do this, I do the same thing. I put color. All right. I'm tell I'm telling the browser I'm specifying a text color here. And now I put RGB. Okay? And I open close parentheses and I'll we'll put a semicolon. Now we're going to work inside the parentheses. Uh, the first way we're going to learn to do uh, do RGB is using percents. Okay, or actually, let's start with an actual number number value. Uh, that's probably better. And then we'll move to percents. Uh, for a number value, uh, we can look at some of these. Uh, let's go ahead and go to lime. And if we look underneath decimal, that's our number value. Lime is one twenty eight one twenty eight zero. And what we do is we just put it in just like that one twenty one twenty eight. That's the red value, 128. The second one's the blue value. Oh, sorry, the green. So the first one's red, second one's green, and the last one is blue, and the last one was zero. All right, I just push save. I move over to my colors, and I am sorry, my colors HTML file, and I'm gonna run in Firefox. And that did not change. Okay. Oh, aha. Uh, I messed up. I did not put the the period, so it was looking uh, basically for RGB element. So, and there's not one. So I put a period. Now it tells it that this is a class it's looking for, and everything should work fine. Okay, I close that. I'm gonna run this again in Firefox, and there we go. We have lime and lime. Now let's go ahead and change this. I can change this to whatever. I'm just going to start picking at random. I can, I can change these values of these three numbers to anything uh, from 0 to 255. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to pull some, just pick something. We'll do 233, uh, 78, and 198. And save. Switch back over to my colors. Launch in Firefox. And there you go. All right. Now, as I said, there's another way to um, to specify these three values here, and that's using percents. I can use from zero to 100%. Um, so I'm I'm gonna go down and do 100% on my red. Uh, I'm gonna do 40% on my green, and I'm gonna do 10% on my blue. I'm gonna save that. I have no idea what color I'm getting. Oh, there we go. It's kind of an orangish color. Uh, 
And as you can see here, it does not give you the value for percents, but 100% of course is equal to 255, 0% is equal to 0. And so you kind of have to scale it in between. Um, I found that most uh, most people I know do not use percent, um, but you can if you want to. It's kind of up to you. Um, most people actually use the hex, uh, hex value for RGB because uh, a hex value actually gives you a better control. It allows you to specify up to 16, over 16 million different colors uh, using hex. So uh, we're, we're going to switch back over and I'm going to show you how to do this uh, specify RGB using hex. So I switch over, I'm going to move down, I'm going to create me a new class this time. Hex and there we go. Oops. All right, and we'll do color again. And this time, uh, we're just going to put it in a hex value. And if you look over here, you can see a hex value is a pound sign. With uh, either there's two ways that you'll see it. Either there will be three digits, three digits or uh, letters, uh, or there will be six, like there is in all of these. Okay. And here in a second, I'll show you. Um, uh, why sometimes you'll get uh, just three letters or numbers uh, instead of six but the standard is six so let's go ahead and let's do uh, how about purple it's eight zero 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 eight zero so what I do here is I do pound eight zero what was it again uh, okay zero zero and then eight zero correct yeah eight zero and semicolon I save back over to my HTML file launch of Firefox and there we go it is a purplish color okay and of course I can I can mess around with my uh, hex value uh, hex value uh, there is some rules uh, it can contain any number from uh, 0 to 9 it can contain any letter from A to F so as long as I stick uh, within those uh, rules, I can create a six a six uh, character or or number um, little code here and just make up something. So I'm gonna do uh, let's see F eight eight. Uh, how about B B and three. All right, there we go. Let's go and save that. All right, so we got like a light pink. Okay, so so you can mess around if you want to just make up something off the top of your head, or you you can use color charts like there is right here. But before we move on to um, some color charts, let's go ahead and look at one of these. Um, let's see, the best one to look at would be how about let's do yellow. It's F F F F zero zero, and I put that in. I do FF, FF, zero, zero. And again, I just want to make a little note here. The first two uh, correspond to your RGB. First two are your red. Uh, the second two are your green. And the third two are your uh, blue. All right, so we got a yellow. And we'll run this just to show you. All right, RGB with hex is yellow. Now. I can, uh, I can, uh, depending on the setup of your uh, hex, uh, uh, hex color, you can sometimes make it just uh, uh, three instead of six. And how do you do this? Well, based off of the grouping, the red, green, and blue, if both are the same, like I have two F's, I can just put F to, to uh, specify. Uh, uh, for red. And since I have two F's in green, I can put F. And two zeros in blue, I can put zero. And if you kn if I save that and run, you'll notice our color is still yellow. Okay. But you can only do that if they're the same uh, in each grouping. So you can, you can shorten it and make it a three instead of a six uh, characters or letters, uh, numbers long. All right. And let's go ahead. Uh, I showed you this right here. This is our basic color uh, keyword, and it has the uh, the hex RGB and the decimal. 
If I go back to the top here on the same web page, uh, under these color units again, I'm gonna look for extended color uh, keywords, and there are quite a few here. I believe there is um, like about a hundred and uh, forty-seven or something like that. Um, color uh, names, uh, hex, and uh, decimal values, and you can with a sample of each one, so you can scroll through there. It's nowhere near all the colors you can make using hex, um, but that that is a good menu that should get you started. And this these colors are supported by most major browsers. Uh, well, actually, probably all the major ones. Some of the lesser known ones might not support all these, but all your major browsers will support uh, these these colors right here. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I will put a link to this. Uh, this uh, W3C uh, document in the uh, description below. And next, uh, in the next video, we're going to go move on to an, uh, some new ways to specify colors specifically for CSS3. So um, I hope you like our content. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy uh, our con content, please like us, subscribe, comment, um, and let us know what you think. And we will see you all next time. You all have a great day.